What is up, everybody? Back with another pair of low heat here. Um, they, the dunk high might be the lowest of like semi popular, you know, sneakers. Just these things are like they're they're caught in that weird spot where they do sell, but like they definitely um, do not resell and. Um, some go on sale. I have way too many of these things. I could not resist this colorway. What colorway are we talking about? You already know from the title, from the thumbnail, but we're talking about the Stadium Green and White Dunk High, or as it's kind of being dubbed the Lucky Green by certain retailers, certain people. I got these from Hibbit City Gear. Um, shouts, I think, to the J23 app for making a Twitter post that these were available uh on hibbit and i went and copped i couldn't control myself because i just really i love green and white shoes i like that colorway it's uh you know I, it's just something about it might maybe my high school colors i don't know, like forests I like trees i like grass and i like white shoes it's just it's perfect anyways th they are kind of the part of this nike dunk high be tr well nike be true to your school the acronym there b t t y s um they've been putting a lot of dunks lately and some of them are under this umbrella of be true to your school not like the og colorways that i uh, that i can remember let me know in the chat or the comments if you know better uh but they are meant to be dunks sneakers that you can wear to rep your school colors obviously you know there's multiple schools that hold similar colors there's only so many colors um but yes so that's that's kind of the idea behind it because the dunk back in the 80s was associated with college uh teams big name universities and so they're starting to roll out a few more colors here and there under that uh be true to your school uh moniker so what did i get recently yes the the Oregon or the Reverse Brazil Dunk Lows, check out that video. That was also a Be True to Your School um, labeled dunk. So let's see these. Before I unveil them, please subscribe. It's free. You know, I'm, I'm buying way too many dunk highs here. I'm like in between jobs, trying to make ends meet, buying sneakers when I don't need to be. The least you could do is subscribe, like a video, watch some old videos while you eat uh, breakfast, listen to my sweet melodious voice it's free i'm not even asking for money that's all i'm asking for is your support thanks for watching let's check these out Ooh, all right i think despite having too many dunk highs again check my channel you'll see i've i've, I've got way too many so many unboxings i think i made a good decision here like right away first impressions they don't lie, and I really like this. I really like this colorway. They've been doing this kind of color blocking a lot recently, mainly in the, the lows with the white mudguard and white, um, this white leather on the I-State area and the back heel. They've done it in like the championship red and that blue, um, mainly in lows. I haven't seen it too much in the high top high tops but uh they've been doing that with this the white and then the contrasting bright color on the on the other portions of it the upper toe box upper uh the mid and the mid panel and the outsole uh this retail these retail for 125 shouts to hibbit for the free shipping they had free shipping that was part of the reason i copped i almost maintained some self-control and avoided buying these uh but the free shipping from Hibbit convinced me, and so they got a sale. So typically these would have ran me like into the 120, 140, 150s total with tax and everything. But I think these were 125 and it was just tax. So it was like 130 something. So not bad, not bad. Um, really like these. Like some of the dunk highs that I have are already kind of like, I've already kind of regretted. So like what is the, the St. John's highs I bought? Spent too much a couple years ago when dunks were overpriced. Spent too much on the secondary market. I've bought a bunch recently where they've gone on sale, um, paid full retail. These I'm not going to regret. That being said, if you're interested in these, maybe hold off. 
uh, check Hivit right now. Check some other retailers. Search the Lucky Green um, or Pine Green Dunk High. You might be able to find them for retail. Don't hate, uh, what did it say? Stadium Green. I've seen Pine Green in the description. The Stadium Green. These are also called Lucky Green. Someone get it right. I think they're doing Stadium Green because it's a, like a collegiate colorway. Be true to your school. That makes sense. But there's also Varsity Championship. There's just too many. Check online. You might be able to get these for retail. That being said, don't hate me. These could go on sale too. These also could sell through. If they sell through, don't be mad. Just check the resale um, platforms. I don't think you'll be paying all that much. Like, I don't even think a single sale has been made on StockX for these yet. Um, as for going over some of the details, this is pretty standard to your typical GR Dunk High. There's some extra glue here. But, like, again, you're paying low 100s. It takes a lot of glue to adhere this to the, the sole. It is what it is. I don't mind it too much. I, I do notice that this leather, albeit the same as other GRs, it feels like there's less of that, that shiny coating, that plasticky coating on these than some of the more recent Dunk Highs I've been getting. It just seems like less of it. The leather feels a little softer, maybe because there's less of that um, coating applied to the outer. I don't think this leather is necessarily better. It's just, it does feel slightly less plasticky. Again, the, the leather might be the same and on those ones that I'm referring to, you, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I think it's, it's on like all the dunks, the GR dunks. It just seems slightly, just ever so slightly less shiny. A little bit more dull, a little bit more muted, so there might be less of that coating on it doesn't necessarily speak to the leather um so mind you no extra laces that's kind of standard um nike tag no nike air because there's no air unit in the dunks that great green outsole i really enjoy this color blocking something about the balance of it the balance of the two colors um does it very symmetrical uh just it's a, it's a classic design, of course, but trying to, like, nail down what about it. Like, people just tend to just throw out, like, oh, it's good looking and I like it. Like, but trying to really drill down to, like, why do we like this aesthetic? It's just very well balanced, the colors, the proportionality of the colors. And, um, yeah, I, I do not mind having bought this shoe so far. I like... I really like the championship dunk uh, lows in red and blue. I had the red ones for a brief moment, but I, I felt bad paying resale for them, so I, I sold those. Um, I don't have them anymore, so. Uh, it's also the green. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not like, it's hard to tell. It's almost like a Kelly green. It's not like a, it's not like a grass or forest green. It's like ever so slightly muted. Um, it's not a dark green. It's just a very interesting, it's a little cool, slightly minty. I don't know how well that reads on camera, but um, yeah, really, really like these. Let's put these on. I'm wearing currently the Nike Air Max Bacons, Air Max 90 Bacons for Air Max Day. I'm filming this on Air Max Day, 326. Broke these out for the first time. These are great, may I add. First time, saved them for two years. They came, they retroed or whatever in... 2021 around Air Max Day's time. So two years ago, broke them out for the first time today. And they look great with these pink Supreme socks and they feel great. Uh, not great to stand around all day. If you have to stand all day, not the most comfortable shoe, but just in general, walking around, not too bad. This is just soft enough. Uh, check out my unboxing. I put more production value and work into this, un this unboxing than maybe any other unboxing I've done so far. I'll link it little flag up there upper right um most work i've done for any unboxing and uh doesn't have a lot of views maybe the thumbnail's not great i don't know what uh but check it out if you're interested and leave me a comment if you like the added production value or no just keep it simple like i usually do the the live vicariously through me top down just Stick to the unboxing initial review. Or do you like the bonus content that I did for this? I, I filmed me picking these up, cooked some bacon, 
Um, I don't know. It was just different. But these, great shoe. Suggestion. I know this is a little tangent here. Suggestion. If you didn't get these and are all interested, these are still pretty low price for the most part. Um, around a little above retail, maybe fees, shipping, taxes, etc. Put you up there a little bit, but um, I don't think they're going to retro these anytime soon. So I think these will slowly, slowly creep up as people wear their pairs. And if there's ever an Air Max 90 resurgence, um, these are going to go up in price. So be warned. This is a great shoe, great quality, multiple laces. Anyways, this video is not about these. I know just a little bonus content for you video is about these i'll try these on quick give these a rating uh see these on foot i don't know if i'll put these both on uh as i say i did a i'm not going to do a full wear review right now but uh check out my nike dunk high black and white kind of like pandas uh people say in the comments these aren't pandas because they don't have the red tag but what Everyone just refers to them as pandas, though, so it's only the people in my comments who say they're not pandas. Uh, I did a wear review of those Nike Dunk Highs, and they're very similar. They're a GR Dunk High uh, from, you know, they keep putting them out over and over again. If you want, like, a proper wear review video, uh, you can check the, that out. You really have to unlace these uh, to get your foot in. That is, that is one thing. All right, there we go. I didn't unlace them enough. They go real well with this, uh, these pink socks, might I add. Kind of gives off that vibe of the, uh, what was that one? With the furry pink suede on the outside, but then it was kind of the inverse colors. And then it was green on the, on the inside of the shoe. Not inside, but the instep of the shoe. Oh, yeah. These are... I've, I've bought way too many Dunk Highs. I love that. I really like Dunk Highs. Some people are like only Dunk Low people. I love Dunk Highs. I like Dunk Lows too, but I, I almost like Dunk Highs better. You know what? I'm going to say I do like Dunk Highs better. And um, I've got, hence why I've bought too many, um, because they're less popular. They're, they're readily available this past year. And this is the first time in a while that I've been like actually legit, like, ooh, excited to like, I'm have these on foot and I'm like, damn, those look good. Like this is a me shoe. This is a fancy pants shoe. I just referred to myself in the third person. Sizing, um, go true to size. You can go a half size down. You're, it will fit. It'll be a little more snug, but they'll fit. I go true to size because I don't like them to be um, snug. And when I say snug, I still mean fit. They're not tight. You can wear a size, like I'm 11 and a half. I can wear an 11 and a dunk and it is fine. Uh, I just like a little extra room. And then if you go half size up, that is okay too. They'll just be roomier. Um, I've, I have a size 12, I think, in the Kentucky Dunk Highs, and they're fine. They're not too big. So uh, I recommend just going true to size. I'm not going to put this on. Struggle bus. Let's give these a rating. Man, you, lately I've been given Dunk Highs, I think, under 8s. I'm giving these an 8, at least an 8. I like them. There's nothing special about them. No collaboration, no uh, premium materials, no story behind these. These aren't, I think, even part of the original Be True to Your School pack from back in the 80s. Um, I, I'm i still giving them above an 8. I think an 8.25, maybe even an 8.5. I like them that much. Just and That's all based on the silhouette and the color blocking, of course. That's, that's a little high. Let's give, let's, let's, let's do, throw an 8.3. 8.3 for these. Really like them. Dunk highs are pretty durable. They're not um, super comfy to walk in all day or to stand in all day, but they're a great, great shoe to do just casual things in errands, show up to a bar for a couple hours, going out, go to a movie in. Great for a plane, plane ride. They have a little room inside for your foot to expand. You're not walking around all day. Um, a little durable, kind of slightly water resistant, these GRs are. In this type of leather with this coating um, doesn't break the bank 8.3 for this colorway specifically anyways give my channel a subscribe please like the video comment 
Like it if you like the video. If you don't like it, you don't have to like it, but leave a comment. Uh, check out my other videos. I'd appreciate it. Subscribing is free, and boom, you already did it. Just move your finger. You already did it. Back with more reviews coming up soon, um, and uh, potentially more unboxings in the future if you people would follow me and uh, subscribe and all that. Peace.